Hi everyone, I'm Ben and this is a Board Game Blueprint. This week we're going to talk about a newly added piece or game addition to the Game Crafter that I picked up at Protospiel Madison this past weekend. It is the Game Designer's Ruler and it has a bunch of really neat stencils and shapes, features to go over. In fact, I'm going to let JT, CEO of the Game Crafter, who also designed this beauty, talk about it in more detail now. Thanks, Ben. Today I want to show you my Game Designer's Ruler. It has 35 tools and I want to demonstrate some of them for you now. It has stencils of common game components such as meeples, cubes, dice, and even Catan roads. These can help you create placement locations on cards and game boards, on prototypes that you're working on at home, or even if you need to create something on the fly at a convention like Protospiel. There are also metric and imperial compasses, allowing you to draw perfect circles of almost any size. It has a dice stencil so that you can easily draw dice placements on boards and cards. The card stencils range from micro to jumbo. You can use them to draw card placements or even measure cards of an unknown size. It has round and square corner placements so that you can draw cards in the style that you like. There are stencils for common icon types such as hit points, stamina, defense, and victory points. There are protractors for 60, 90, and 120 degree angles. I've added extra points along the path, and where possible, I've tried to line up stencils so that you can use those to draw even longer lines at the correct angles. I chose these angles because they're common in gaming for drawing things like hex and square grids. I expect the ruler will be used by more than just game designers, as it's a nice general purpose tool. This ruler is a great example of what you can do with the new acrylic shapes feature at the Game Crafter, because you can cut and print your own designs out of plastic. You can of course use these angles for measuring, not just drawing. There are 35 individual tools on this one ruler. Get yours today at the Game Crafter. Back to you, Ben. Now, you saw a bunch of close-ups already about some of these really neat tools like the stencil shapes and even how to use a couple of these dots to create other things like uh, using it as a compass or a hexagon sketcher. My favorite thing is also just how portable it is. Uh, it's about, well, my hand size wide and hand size long, but I think it would make a great little piece of awesomeness. But I think it would make a great gift for an up-and-coming designer that you know, especially if you're already looking to get them some school supplies. At Protospiel Madison, I even saw a couple designers using this with some of the spare or blank parts on the components table, which was just super cool to see. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so that you'll be alerted about when the next video that we put up like this comes out. As always, I'm Ben, this has been another episode of the Board Game Blueprint, and together, let's build something great.